Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new video. Today, I'm gonna to be covering the best Lightroom Classic export settings, and this is also applicable to Lightroom CC and Lightroom Mobile for Instagram posts in 2023. We all hate when you upload a banger photo to Instagram and Instagram just compresses it. Done, dust, it looks absolutely trash on the feed, and this is exactly how you can get around that, no sweat at all. So without further ado, let's dive into Lightroom. Let's get this video started. All right, so here we are inside of Lightroom. And this shot is from a beautiful morning in Bali. I absolutely love it up here. It's in the cinnamon region. And there's just some beautiful, beautiful, dense light rays just pouring in to this little street. It's absolutely gorgeous up there. And uh, more or less, I finished my edit. We can have a look at the before and the after. It's pretty clean, nothing too crazy, especially when you're working with this kind of light. You don't want anything too over the top. You know, you can definitely get things can definitely get out of hand pretty quickly. But anyway, let's say we wanna get this guy up onto Instagram, let's do it. All right, so first things first, what you wanna do is you want to start with the crop tool. So we're gonna come in here and we are going to select four by five. Now this is if you're gonna be cropping for the Instagram feed. So if you're posting this as just a photo, this is what we're going to be cropping as. We're gonna be cropping at four by five. But if you are cropping for an, a reel, if you're cropping for an Instagram reel, you'll actually wanna be cropping for nine by 16 or 16 by nine, but it's gonna give you nine by 16 if your photo is uh, vertical, not horizontal. And if it does for some reason look like this, or if you are cropping a horizontal photo and you just want the middle piece or a side piece, but you want it to be vertical, you can press X and that's gonna rotate the crop for you. But anyway, for today, we are gonna be cropping for the feeds. We're gonna come back to four by five and now it's super small. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put myself in the center here. We're gonna just uh, line things up a little nicer and then maybe give a little bit more real estate. There we go, just like that. I think things, I think things are looking fairly good just here, maybe a little bit more, why not? Okay, I like that, perfect. We also might just quickly tidy up the masks here, just a little bit more, just a little bit darker right there. I think that is looking pretty spicy. All right, cool, so we've got the crop out of the way. If we wanna be cropping for the feed, we're cropping four by five, if we wanna be cropping for reels, it's 16 by nine, or in reality, nine by 16. Press X if you need to change the orientation. But anyway, we are really good to go here. We have dialed in our edit, we've got our crop sorted. Now all that's left to do is to export the photo. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit Command, Shift, E, and that's gonna bring up Export. If you're on a, a PC, if you're not on a Mac, it's gonna be Control, Shift, E, it's gonna bring up this lovely folder, not folder, it's gonna bring up this lovely window here, and you are pretty much good to go, and you're, you're nearly done. Exporting is pretty much finished. But anyway, what we're gonna do here is I'm just gonna run you through my settings for uh, Reels and the feed since they are different. So if you're uploading to the feed, this, these are the settings you wanna roll with. So we've got here uh, file settings. You wanna be exporting in JPEG. I like to set my file quality to 85. Now I find that this is probably the sweet spot to avoid that Instagram compression. So yeah, for me, 85 works really well. I'm leaving it here. It is set automatically to 100 but I like it at 85. And that's pretty much all you wanna be changing here. Make sure your color space is set to sRGB. Now this is arguably the most important part here. You want to be resizing to fit your image on the long edge, and you want to make sure that the long edge is 2700 pixels long. You also wanna make sure you change your resolution to 72 pixels per inch. Make sure that this is in pixels per inch, not pixels per centimeter. That's a huge difference. And this is pretty much all you need to be doing if you're gonna be exporting to the feed. If you do wanna be exporting uh, for reels, what I like to do is I like to keep absolutely everything the same. I just wanna change the long edge here to 1920 because this is the resolution of the Instagram reels and uh, yeah, I guess the, the little reels platform. What do you call that? A little part inside of Instagram that is reels. But anyway, for now, like I said, since we are in the four by five aspect ratio that this photo is going on the feed, we're gonna leave this at 2700 pixels, hit export and just like that, you're good to go. You have absolutely swerved Instagram's compression. More or less, this photo is good to go. We're ready to upload and you sorted. it. But anyway, guys, that was just a short and simple, but a uh, very insightful, if I don't say my, so myself, uh, little tutorial on how you can avoid Instagram's compression and make sure when you upload your photos, they are looking crispy, sharp, and exactly how they look when you finished your edit. But anyway, guys, that is gonna wrap up today's video. If you have enjoyed, let me know down below. If you're new around here, a subscribe would mean the absolute world. And as always, guys, I will catch you in the next one. Peace.